We're going with Harvard today when things are popping. Pop. The Philadelphia way. We're going to drop it, drop on all the music they play on the bandstand. Bandstand. Lovely, lovely. Now, you see the problem. Stop, you fools, stop. That's the equivalent to a standing ovation. I don't know. Sir. The problem is, of course, they think that's a brand new song. They never heard that. What was the dance that guys, what was that oh, thing you were doing? A slop. A slop. Oh, I remember. And that was, that was one they didn't really want us to show. When wow. they did, I don't know, it was a dirty dance. Because guys had their hand yeah. in their pocket. It was Eno, and it said, it looks suggestive or something. You put your hand in your pocket, because a lot of the guys used to wear hip socks. You hip socks, they pull your socks up with it. Oh, <laughs> I love that stuff. Uh, you, can I clarify something right away, Tim? Where'd the name come from? Quickly, in, out, you've done it a million times. It, it comes from a book that was written about New York, and people in New York call Manhattan Transfer, and it was written oh, about 60 years ago, and that's where we got it from, the book. You have a very strange conglomeration of tastes in this album from which this thing came. What kind of music's in there? Oh, um, well, like all our albums, it's just a variety of, of everything because we all have four completely different tastes, but it all meshes together. And there's really no limit to the type of music on this album. It's everything. Is there, for everyone. is there a difference between side one and side two? Yeah, I think uh, side two is uh, more in a direction of jazz. Uh, side one is more, I think, pop rock oriented. And then the boy from New York City is obviously on side one. I mean, that's my, my background. What does the future hold for Manhattan Transfer, Janice? What, what can you do that you haven't already done? Well, I think uh, that we'd like to get into something that takes us away from the grind of making albums, going out on tour, you know, keep doing that. Uh, I think we'd like to get on Broadway, maybe do a musical. Stay home. Is New York City home? Yeah. No, well, Los Angeles. He says, no, he says yes. He says no. This is why this group is here. We're here to settle problems right now. Well, since when did you move back to New York? Well, I thought, I thought what he meant was is that where you know where he originated from. Yes, yeah, so would you like? We to started in New York. York. <laughs> yeah, how'd you, and how we started you? in New York, right? Yeah, we live here. We've been living here about six years. You talk to each other occasionally. Once in a while. <laughs> what did you Do you know where he lives? <laughs> I'm sorry. We've lost track of this whole mess here. Tell me about the, the song you're about to do. It's, I, I watched it in well, rehearsal. He should, really, he should really talk about the song, because he wrote it, and he, he really knows more about what it. What was your inspiration? Bond. James. I tell you what, better we, better we should not talk about it, we'll do it. You go that way, I will go this way, and we will meet in a little while. I'll move over here and give him some sort of a uh, uh, special introduction.